athletic trainer for about 28 years. Uh, right now I work with the University of Michigan wrestling program. Uh, since 2001, so about 22 years. When I started here, I actually worked with women's volleyball and men's gymnastics. And then I worked with women's volleyball and baseball at the same time. Uh -huh. I actually have also worked with football and women's water polo. Well, I mean, initially start with schooling, right? Mm -hmm. So an undergraduate and graduate um, study, learning about concussion recognition, assessment, management, things like that. Um, as I mentioned, I've been an athletic trainer for a long time. So um, awareness and um, management and assessment has changed mm -hmm. over the years. Um, so particularly in the last five, like 10 years, right. yeah. Um, you know, I've had to do more, right? Like learn more, learn the new techniques. So um, going to concussion specific seminars, um, staff in services, mm -hmm. and working with the concussion center to do the different learn how to do different baseline assessment mm -hmm. tools and things like that. It, from other medical specialties, um, every team at Michigan has both a uh, primary care physician and an orthopedic physician assigned to them. Mm -hmm. um, so that's someone that we can reach out to. They have normal clinic hours right. um, every week that if we have a kid that's sick or injured and needs to see a physician they can go to. Um, but then also those physicians make themselves available to you know, on call or mm -hmm. for a phone call. So a lot of communication, um, scheduling appointments and things like that. Coaches, so really with coaches, just um, trying to communicate with them, um, talking to them about, you know, someone so was injured, mm -hmm. here's what we're doing for them, um, here's what they can or can't do during practice. Um, you know, if they're out, like, here's when you expect maybe they might come back. Mm -hmm. um, and then really, you know, when they are coming back, working with the coaches on, a return to practice plan and things like that so they know like what they can be doing in return practice and things like that. So the coaches the coaches always have the athletes' best interests in mind so they work closely with us to make sure kids are, are not are not participating when they're hurt and then when they're coming back they come back the right way. I don't know if I have one proud moment, I guess maybe just being here that long, right? Like being able to work at a place like this for twenty years.